Okay, so today's video, I'm gonna gajingify all the objects into breathable objects. I mean, into waifu. Does anyone know the terms of gajinka? No? Alright, for your non weeps out there, it's rather than referring to just any animal with human characteristics, a gajinka is most often a redesign or fan redesign of an animal-like character in a human or humanoid form. Just like Pokemon, Digimon, furries, but no. We're not gonna do animal. We're gonna do random object generator. Are you ready? I will call you Egichan Kitchinkafa. Flash dinosaur. You guys ever have this toy when you're young? I don't know why. I have when I was young, I have the obsession to bite off the tip of the ears, like this this part. Are you guys enjoying the video? Please subscribe because I, I give you free video. You subscribe for free, okay? Alright. Next. Yo, Taran. Alright. What's up? Next. Harmonica. Alright. What else? One more. Let's go one more. Oh, two more. Okay, watcher. One more and we're done. Cookie jar. You want a waifu that is a cookie jar? Let me have a snack. Okay, I think that's it. So. <laughs> Follow me on my Instagram. You can see the post. All right, let me know which one the one to be your waifu. Egg gives protein and waifus give compassion. A good anime. Absolutely, there's no time for your wife. We all have our starting point where we consume all of our childhood or manlyhood into anime i remember doing my childhood my dad would get dvds from the store just randomly pick any animated series and toss it to me there was dragon ball pokemon ben 10 and gundam but there was one particular one i could not find it now i can't remember if it was the 90s anime it looks pretty old but i do remember how the main protagonist looked like if you would be so kind to give me the sauce and figure out what anime it is i'm describing now it's red hair short hair dude with blue color armor but sleeveless he's wearing a cut top for some reason travel with friends and acquaintance all right go hunting tell me what it is and yeah i'll, I'll reward you or some shit all right now that's out of the way here's my three by three anime i just compiled no one cares oh because this is my video and you're watching it so, shut the hell up, or else I'll sleep with your mom. From the first row, top left, we have, of course, Jojo Bizarre Avenger. Next, Tokyo Revenger, Dr. Stone. The second row, Kaguya Summer, Love is War, The Tag on Titan, Demon Slayer, and lastly, One Punch Man, Assassination Classroom, and Anohana. If you have not watched any of these, go. I'll wait. And when you come back, you better tell me I gave the best recommendation of your life. Okay, so Jojo, I watch all part. Currently part 6 as Jolin Kujo, daughter of Jotaro Kujo. But how I got into Jojo was actually because of memes. Yes, there were times where Jojo got so popular when it releases part 3 and it was favored by many. And a lot, a lot of memes, I said a lot of memes came out of it. Uh, especially this one. Oh my god, this looks so gay. I'll watch it. I binge watching all of it. Part 1 was alright. Part 2 was really good. I really like Joseph Joe's death. Of course, part 3 was amazing. I do love the memes. And when I finally reached the part 3, I finally understood the memes. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. Part 4 was really interesting to watch them solving crime scenes but they got debuffed i mean what what happened to the muscles part three and two and one is so big they, they look so gorgeous okay anyway part five is just gangsters posing and they never stop sharing their drinks i jono juban have a dream all right that's all <laughs> But speaking of gangsta, Tokyo Revenger, just like Jojo Part 5, but without the Jojo. It's like Isekai anime, but instead of being Isekai to another world, you'll get Isekai into back in time, which is so cool. And oh, the main protagonist is just like Deku from My Hero Academy Hashi Cry almost every goddamn time. Alright, anyone here is a uh, Rick and Morty fans? If so, you have high IQ, and I guarantee you to watch Doctor's 
Dr. Stone, not Dr. Strange, Dr. Stone, because it requires a lot of IQ. If you ain't got the brain, it ain't for you. For the modern era, back to the Stone Age, but with a giga brain cell and anime waifu with huge eyes. Yeah, those uh, pretty large eyes. And those pretty eyes are outside, uh, obviously. But do you believe in love in first sight? Because I don't. <laughs> Well, what do you do when you like someone? Do you try to hide your feelings? Or you oppress and confesses your feelings? And what if the other person rejects you? And also, how do you make someone say, I love you first? Well, that's Kaguya-sama, Love is War. The series is just both people trying to find ways to make each other to admit defeat. Who's the first one to say, I love you? Meanwhile, in real life, Hey, I, I really like you. Uh, let's get together. Aww. I really appreciate that, but you're like a brother to me. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! What is love? If you don't fight for it, then what are you fighting for? Love is just like war. When two parties have conflicts, you plan an attack. You become a titan, and you bite their heads off. Yep, that's Attack of Titan. Top rated anime since 2012, I better check that. But good story! Never ending plot twist and Eleonic. Watching him grow through the seasons has been a roller coaster. But the fun one, not the one that sucks. Spoiler alert, yes! Eleonic huh? becomes the one thing he hates the most. Bread. I meant Titan. But when you hate something so much, and what happens? Your sister becomes a demon and you have to blame it on Michael Jackson. Demon Slayer has been really stunning through the animation and the story. Don't get me start on the story. Which anime series you have watched and made you feel some empathy for the villains? Oh, well, not this guy. Fuck this guy from... Spoiler alert. If you haven't watched Mugen Train, go watch it, okay? Three, two. One. He killed my boy when goes on. So no matter how sad you try to make me, I am shedding a tear as I already shed it before my boy. I actually cry in the cinema. <laughs> oh no! It's just an anime and you barely know this guy. I, I know! But he was like a father to me. Is Demon Slayer overrated? Yes! But it definitely deserves to be one of the top tier anime out there, without a doubt. But do you know why Renkoku-san didn't win? Why he didn't kill the demon that she swore to kill? Cause he didn't do 100 push-ups, sit up, and 10 kilometer run every single day. Yeah, One Punch Man is the series that anyone could get into. Whether you're not a weeb or you just want to watch something casual, it's a good entry for anyone who wants to get into anime. It's just a guy killing everyone with One Punch. And the title. It's good. Killing is easy if you're Saitama, One Punch Man. But how do you kill someone when you're just a student? And that person you need to kill is your teacher. Because he's gonna destroy the war once school year is over. That's assassination classroom. You have yellow octopus, Koro sensei. Work as the homeroom teacher in class 3E. At Kunikaoka Junior High School. And the government agrees to pay 10 billion yen to kill him. And what does he teach? Yes, the ways of killing him. The ways of assassination. The ways of assassination. So, spoiler alert, everyone's supposed to kill this dude. Actually, no. They adore him. They respect him. They love him. Throughout the series, he's just a teacher with good intentions, which made it so hard to kill. It is a bittersweet ending. Kinda sad. On the topic of sad endings, here's what made my eyes droop for weeks. It's an anime called Anohana, the flower we saw that day. Anyone who just want to cry your eyes out, just watch this. It's about five friends reunite because the death of one of them. And they need to fulfill her last wish in order for her to rest in peace. Just remember to prepare a lot of tissues. That's the last of it. Hope you find this to your liking. I know this is not what I normally do. Hope you like the drawings. I didn't really go specifically into them. I just want to talk about anime. And if you enjoyed this one, there's two more to watch. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.